In one of the previous videos, we saw how to create an S3 bucket to host a static website. We also saw how to point a domain using Route 53 to an S3 bucket. And here I have a bucket that I created to host a website. It only has one file with some text and a link, and it's accessible to everyone. I also pointed this domain using Route 53 to this bucket. So when anyone visits this makesoftware.xyz domain, it points to the S3 bucket. However, the connection is not secure. Because we're not using SSL, the connection is over HTTP and not HTTPS. In this video, I'm going to create a CloudFront distribution, which will allow us to configure SSL for this domain and make our connection secure by using HTTPS. Let's get started by going to the CloudFront admin and creating a new distribution. In the CloudFront admin, we'll create a new distribution. We want a web distribution. For the origin, we'll select our S3 bucket that we currently point our domain to. We want all the HTTP requests to be redirected to HTTPS, so we'll choose this option. We want gzip to be automatically activated, so we'll enable the compress objects automatically option. For the alternate domain names, we'll enter the domain names we want to use for this distribution. I've used makesoftware.xyz and also the subdomain www.makesoftware.xyz. And this is the main part, the SSL certificate. I've created a certificate for the makesoftware.xyz domain using AWS Certificate Manager. It allows us to create a free SSL certificate for a domain. And if the domain is hosted on Route 53, it makes it even easier to validate it and generate a certificate. We'll choose the custom SSL certificate option. And we'll choose the certificate I've previously created for this domain. For the default root object, we'll use index.html, which is actually the only file we have on our bucket at the moment. Now let's go ahead and create our distribution. The status is currently in progress and it will take a few minutes until it's ready to be used. In the meanwhile, we can go to Route 53 and configure our domain to point to the CloudFront distribution instead of directly to the bucket. So at the moment we have this A alias that points to S3, which in turn points to our bucket. But instead of pointing directly to S3, we want to point to CloudFront, which will use HTTPS to connect to the bucket. If we'll go to the CloudFront distributions options, we can see the distribution we created listed here as one of the options. Now let's give it a few minutes to initiate. After waiting a few minutes, the distribution started working and now, as you can see, when you go to our domain, it uses HTTPS. And if you try to make a request using HTTP, it will redirect to HTTPS as well. The SSL certificate we created using AWS Certificate Manager is being used. As you can see here, it says issued by Amazon and it's valid for a little over a year. So previously, our domain was pointing directly to an S3 bucket. But what we did in this video is that we created a cloud for distribution and pointed it to the S3 bucket. And now our domain points to the cloud for distribution, which in turn point to the S3 bucket. And this way we get HTTPS and gzip compression. We can now also use many other features of CloudFront. We can set up custom headers. We can make use of the AWS firewall, or we can use geolocation and block specific countries or widely specific countries. And CloudFront has a lot of useful features that we can take advantage of now that we use CloudFront between our domain and our S3 bucket.